Hey everybody, me is Tommy Tumbo here, and today we are going to talk about what was probably one of the biggest games in 2020, Fall Guys. With multiple awards and great critic reviews, Fall Guys really hit the ground running as an entertaining, family-friendly multiplayer game. But now it's one year later, and I want to see how it's doing today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Fall Guys exploded in popularity when it was released on August 4th, 2020. In the middle of a distressing time for a lot of people, being trapped indoors and seeking the comfort that only sweet, sweet video games can give us. Fall Guys was a saving grace in these dark times, with a family-friendly style and a simple core mechanic of Last Man Standing wins. It reminded us of those classic TV shows like Total Wipeout, Ninja Warrior and Takeshi's Castle as just dumb childhood fun. What also helped was for the first month of its release, Fall Guys was free as part of PlayStation Plus, so pretty much anybody that had a PlayStation 4 had the opportunity to play this game and get immediately hooked. Fall Guys reached its peak concurrent users in these early days with 172,000 concurrent players on Steam. But by October 26th, roughly two months after its launch, the game would be down to 22,000 concurrent users. These numbers don't take into account PlayStation 4 users, so this won't give us an accurate representation of the numbers, but gives us a rough idea of when the peak would have been and when people were starting to leave. From my own personal experience, Fall Guys was a game I really enjoyed. In fact, one of my earliest videos on this channel is a video of me playing Fall Guys at the peak of its popularity. But after a month or so, I just drifted away from the game. I never disliked it or got frustrated by it, but I just one day put it down and never went back to it until today. The developers at Mediatonic have been continually adding more and more features to the game since its release, and Fall Guys is now currently in its fifth season since July 2021. And it still seems like they have a loyal and consistent fan base who have been playing the game over the past year. But I feel like I fall into a large category of people who, despite loving the game, haven't played it since season one. So we're going to go now and see what Fall Guys looks like today. Hi guys, I've got Fall Guys Season 5 booted up and I'm ready to just get stuck into it and let's go. I, I can't remember how to play it. Let's jump. How do, how do I get stuck under it? There we go. Alright, I'm fine. We'll roll with it. Oh! Alright, yes, you can click. Oh! Oh! These are actually really fun as like a wee platform. Boom! Boom! Hey! There we go, got up. Oh, this bit looks a lot tougher. Oh no. Okay, where are these telling us to go? We go we. Oh! We lost! <laughs> Treetop tumble. Navigate the jungle obstacles and race to the finish line. Okay. Yeah, this, is, <laughs> this looks like a completely different game. <laughs> In a, in a good way, though. Oh my god. This is chaos. We're doing okay, though. Oh no. It froze. Ah! Look at the rhinos! Is that like AI to like chase people? Yep, looks like it. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, I can't see. Alright, we're going down this one. I think we're good. Yay! There we go. So we completed our first one. That's good. Yeah, that's so much more chaotic than the other ones. <laughs> yeah, it's mad to think about how simple, like, the balance beam level was now. <laughs> Looking at something like that, which feels like the entire first season rolled into a single map. <laughs> Wait, is this one of the first ones? This doesn't look like a new one. Oh, it is. This is an old one, but they've added new obstacles to it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, I'm good. No! Damn it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Keep going. Yes, get through. 
We're good. We're good. We're good. Nope. Oh no. I don't know if we're gonna make. Oh yes. Push. We did it. That we pushed from the column went and saved us. <laughs> Stop and grab, avoid the charging rhinos. Oh, okay. It's cool to have these be like AI obstacles and it. Oh my god. Oh, so they're gonna charge at us and it, we have to stay on this platform. Ooh. But there is bouncy stuff on the side to kind of save us. Nope, 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 nope. Where are the rhinos? Where are the rhinos? Nope. Nope. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, stay over there. We're, we're, <laughs> congregate together, brothers. Oh no, no, they find us. <laughs> I love everybody's congregating in a big group. Nope. Aha. Nope. Ah! All right, we got five seconds. Nope, stay away from me. Nope. We did it. This is actually like a lot of fun. There's some really cool levels in this. Tipped, oh no. I know this one. I've been screwed over this one before. Oh, and there's new obstacles too. So happy about that. That was like my least one of my least favorite ones in season one. First place. All right, finally it. <gasps> Hexagon. I haven't played this one in a while too. This one I feel confident on as well. I hope. I'm out here, babe. Let's keep it going. Oh no, people are coming my way. Stay away from my things. All right, we're going down to blue. Oh, ah, no. No, no, no. Screw it, let's go nuts. Let's make sure everybody falls. <laughs> Me and this man are just pure chaos. Second, ah, no, that was just a slip up. I was gold in there, I had so much time. No. Second place, Impa. The interesting thing about Fall Guys is the fact that nothing in its design or its execution was inherently wrong. It is a fun game with interesting features added month after month by people who clearly care about both it and the community. But at the same time, it rose so high and then dipped off so quickly, you would look at that type of drop and think, what went wrong? When in reality, that massive beginning, I think was just due to trends and popularity with a small bit of luck thrown in. You can think of games like Anthem or the Avengers that had poor rollouts or didn't have the content there to really satisfy any of the people it brought in. And those can be seen as failures in their lower numbers because people didn't get what they want. But with Fall Guys, you got what you wanted and it was a fun time and there's still more there if you wanted it. You just kind of forgot about it. At least that was my experience. But to conclude, I highly recommend anybody who already has it bought or downloaded to just update it and give it another go. Because I think you'll find you'll enjoy it just as much, if not more, than whenever you first played it. It's got a stable fan base now, but it's nowhere near what it was whenever it was released. And if I'm honest, I think that's kind of a shame. Because people 
should be enjoying the work that's being put into this. But that's just my opinion. If you've been playing Fall Guys for the past year, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you had a particular reason why you stopped playing, you can leave a comment. I'm just interested to hear everybody else's experiences with this game. And I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you and goodbye.